Hello, ladies, gentlemen, trans lads. I don't know if that works. Anyway, welcome back to the hack. Let's continue where we left off, shall we? Which was this. Junior. No. 
No. You motherfucker. God damn you, they were surrender. the locks buddy where the fuck are the locks remote lock I don't see them I can't see them buddy what I wish you told me that. We're ready to go.
let's be going. As long as I'm man on the inside, does his job, he might just get away with this. No, he was just... Oh, fuck us! Same characters, aren't we? What the fuck? What the hell is going on? What? Fuck. Who's the player? Wait a minute.
single game works. Uh, continued development department for continued development and research. I'm compressed, bitch.
Fuck. How many of them fucking died? Got a player helping me. Wait, no. I'm the one playing. Why the fuck am I? What's going on here? How the fuck am I? of Mirsha. Hail it sprinkles with the light Calendio. What are you talking about? I am doing this the hard way. So I'm gonna fucking try doing it the hard way. And I know, I could just do that. See what that does. Motherfucker, 
I need... Fine, I give up. No, I don't. I'm too fucking stubborn.
I have the patience, motherfucker. Did not just fucking do that. Come back on you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill you all all over again. Thanks, hey, did you hear this before?
wonder. I did grab the fishing pole. Can I still? Yeah. Bitch, let me fucking read it. Let me take a look. I know, I came to visit you. So they put a filter over the fucking thing. Like, and made, and tricked me, and fucking motherfuckers. Captain? fucking needlessly did to you. Jeez, I'm sorry. Even though you're just an NPC, even though you're just a character meant to take, do one thing, you just... Copy. Power the elevator doors. Wait in there now. Still alive. 
Thanks, it's on my floor, but I'm trying to get down. Left a weapon up here on the floor. Damn it. And yeah, I'm still helping you, motherfucker. Exactly, are we breaking out?
gonna fuck fuck you up. Fuck you, Danny. Oh, no, no, no. Two familiar faces, but don't get distracted. Not able to talk to anyone. Let's take our international security staff and bust the locks. It's not just me that's after it.
Why? Is that a chicken mask? Fine, pick. What the hell is this? Damn you, said all. Give me this damn thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. You have no idea what you've fucking done, have you? I found an escape pod. You know where they're going. I think so. Go south 500 meters, then head east. An emergency exit. Shoot yourself. Wow. 
What the fuck? Artifact. Stolen. That's a real person. What the hell kind of world is this? What is happening? The murder. You just saw it. Lazarus killed her at the bar with an assault rifle. What a neat ending to the story. That ain't. There's more to this, I know. Taught me to fight. Suppose I own that. I'm not surprised that this is the door. Certainly has that look about it. Hey, kid. Wow, what's up? Is this all over there? Need to breathe easy? You know that I'm literally like walking around looking for secrets and shit, right? You do know that? Does everyone here know that? The man who can't say a word. The man who can't speak yet. I get the feeling you've heard plenty. You know plenty. You know more than anyone. I bet it. Problem is, you just can't say a word. We let the cat out of the fucking bag.
you don't mind, but if I could check on a friend or two. Okay. The first person perspective on this table. Did you grow weary of being a vessel? You wanted to be a vessel? Shame. You no longer wanted someone to be in control of you, you wanted to be in control of yourself. But you don't have a mouse, you don't have eyes, you don't have a mouse. Where's Rust, damn it? much to say, but there is much to do. Jeremiah swept the floor. Jeremiah wanted more. Jerry dreamed of a job that was fun. Jerry's story had just begun. Jerry and Jeremiah are the same person or something? Well. It's nice <laughs> getting... I'll see you around. I need that headlamp.
tunnel for it. I'm an idiot. What the hell happened to the rest of the world? She's not down here. He's still upstairs with the... You didn't want to let that go. The computer was in a... What? for a second. Well, I know where this can fit. That? What did that say, though? There's something going on here. With more than what's already been going on. Walk. Magnum opus. I can only walk forward. Right. <gasps> this is Lionel Snell. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game. I magnum opus really called walk you heard him we get to hear him talk <laughs> the 
scene you're looking at is a model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Take it in. Poppers, root beer, cooking granny. They had a buddy too. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. <laughs> well, you know how that turned out. That weasel was my favorite pet. I called him, yeah, you guessed it, Weasel Kid. <laughs> and that's Mr. Shrewd. The two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. Liked fighting games. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience, just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research though, and well, that kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it, so I jammed in some real gameplay. I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but but to the average gamer it's a challenge. Super weasel kid. I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. Oh, that dopamine rush electrified <laughs> my childhood brain. Assigned to button input. Game works. You. No, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Irving came as part of the Game Works package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful. I'm gonna use my mouse for this. It didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving. He assured me that it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me, so I let him do his job. Irving told me we couldn't get the original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. Kind of a shame, I guess. Uh, what?
No, I can't do that. I can only do this. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? That I had just gotten lucky the first time? That I'm a one-trick pony? Eventually, I settled on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. Mr. Shrewd was getting older, both in Radical Road and real life. The older I got, though, the less I really cared. I tried to learn guitar, but I couldn't motivate myself to practice. There was something about the immediacy of game development that I couldn't get out of that thing. I'd been playing a lot of fighting games at that age. Always loved those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. Okay, now they're preset though. If only you could speak, but you can't because you, something tells me you know way more than anyone else. No. I thought it was just exhilarating to beat the shit out of that Grunda, <laughs> but the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like I had no idea what people wanted. It was something fun for you, though. Not everybody liked it, but I liked it. It was neat. Different from the other rest of the game, but... Well, experimentation is a thing. You were a kid at the time. How could you know better? You just wanted something fun. What are you doing here? Radical Road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. The guitar, though, even though you said you don't play it. I'd get emails once in a while, people asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. It had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, fuck it, fine. I sold the franchise to the highest bidder. You shouldn't have. I'm gonna read this. Can I? No, I have to fuck it. Uh. 
Which means the property listed in Exhibit A and all exclusive property and all property rights forming part of embodied or not. You know, necessary for use of the property. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to scroll through this, both, like, I'm recording, right? I could just read this later. You guys can read it later, too. 1.2, intellectual property. 1.3, intellectual property rights. Assignment. Assign it hereby poetry. Assigns, transfers, and conveys to the signee. And assigns all of assigners right, title, interest in, and to the assigned property. So, and we'll pay two thousand. No, that's two hundred. Two billion five hundred thousand dollars. Must not use any confidential information assigned as part of the assigned property, except for the benefit of assigning. Must not disclose such confidential information to third parties. Maintain a confidential receive such confidential representations and warranties indemnification Seven further assurances. Assistance. Signing will take all action and execute all documents as a signing may reasonably request. Design property and listing will complete next case of ownership. Action the signer will at the first instance all cost and expense of assignee to plot to maintain invest in the name of assignee alone to defend any judicial opposition or other proceeding. Move to power of attorney to secure a sign of signature on any other's part. Jesus Christ, that I don't think this is good. This is not a good deal. Injunctive relief. A breach of this agreement will result in ripple. Assignee and remedy at law. Software precautions. Handling you know the software. Maintain its integrity. Not tickling the chins of the mountains. Wait, what the fuck? Not. Don't tickle the chins of the mountains? That's oddly specific. What the fuck? Binding on successors. The parties, together with their respective representatives, successors, and assigns. Not assign this agreement. No, the signee may assign this agreement. And just Amended or modified unless mutually agreed upon in writing by the parties in no way. Any provision of this agreement is held in bound. Motherfucking game, Funa. When I saw what they did with Super Weasel Kid, I felt a little part of myself die. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now. Okay, just a jump a little bit higher.
give me a moment. Bigger, richer, I'll just have it. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now merely inherited it. Okay, just a jump a little bit higher. You're almost there. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. Just jump. Why is it like... I don't know. It, that was odd. Why would he... Why say, hey, jump up your eyes? Just jump, why? Hmm. Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Then I hired a team. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my Carla. new studio. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. Yeah, what happened between you and her? Or her and her? Were you the boss? Or... I bought the rights for my favorite game character. That is, my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. What's so special about you? Like, why? Why are you so special? Why are you fucking everywhere? Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. What? I tried to tell her that Steambot Willy was genderless, but she insisted. So I created Chandrell while she worked on Sado. Carla was made by... No, no, no. She made Sado? Wait. She made this motherfucker? Ugh. That eye. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I'd get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in Walk. doesn't feel right. Oh, these aren't bugs anymore. They're alive. Maybe you want them to be alive. What the fuck? I can see the yeah. This is that this engine that he uses, whatever this is, it is built upon Pony Island because I see the red, the three that little red and blue tint. I can see it. I can slightly see it. Ah. Uh. Not exactly sure what Carla did while she was creating this you know. She told me some mumbo-jumbo about pushing GameWorks to its limits. That 
character was eerie, to say the least. And it's free. It's been, it's, I don't know. Wait a minute. What if, uh, I have theory about something, but it's not something in this game. I'll show it to you after we go through this thing. Well, not this one. Look at that door. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. Oh, it looked pixely? Teak, hand carved, <laughs> gold nameplate. I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. Yeah. Making Combat Arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, uh, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. I'm sorry? Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered, underpowered, too boring. Ugh, I never wanted to work on a fighting game again. Why well, even have th there's stuff hidden in this shit? Doesn't matter. Uh, just two. See, there's still some skill involved. Well, it should be better. Peanut. Ugh. It's one. <laughs> No, he's underpowered, but that's because the shield still count. Doesn't count. Oh. No, I get it. What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. Not these things. Don't do this shit.
I have to admit, though, coding the punches and kicks was everything I had hoped it would be. I'd sit in my office for hours just watching these characters go to town on each other. Sometimes they'd look like they could actually feel it. That's because the, the kid, you had no fucking idea that what you were messing with. <sighs> the block is balanced, though, you idiots. It's. But it shifts you up, down, up, down. You punch the head. You dodge. You punch the feet. You dodge. Jesus Christ, now I do know what he means. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm giving him his block back. Oh, God, it was such a relief to ship that game. I hated it by the end. But since my fingers had touched it, it turned to gold. I still had my contract with Game Funa, so I sold the franchise for another boatload of cash. Oh, motherfucking dude, why? Now that my studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. Carla and I were no longer friends. Actually, that might be putting it lightly. We hated each other. Her ego was just too big to stand in the shadow of my greatness. Oh, fuck you. Your ego is a fucking... Bullshit. I had been pushing the team really hard to finish the game, but oh, you've see? Them under crunch? I rewarded them sometimes. You put them on the crunch, bitch. You're a cunt. Fuck you. I hate you now. You could have been so fucking... Bad. I had a game. It's like, understandably, so you freaking think were a kid at the time. You should have grown the fuck up. Have you not grown the fuck up? I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live with hundreds of thousands watching. Uh, hmm. Where's that damn mechanic? Try this. Yeah, well. Hmm. 
fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? Still got it. Switch. Oh, you turned out to be a dick. I thought you were a good fucking dude, but nah. Wolf. Not again. I said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving, I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game. Uh, how are you holding up, faceless Joe? Go, oh, I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight that slime. You'll have to solve some brilliant puzzles to open the gate. Damn, you... These characters are fucking bitter. They are pissed. I thought it would at least shut the door. You know, common decency, courtesy, whichever. <laughs> it makes sense that they choose me for this game. Chandra's gone, also Lazarus. Hmm, well, me too. All I got left is the town mechanic. Woof, there we go. Sorry, mechanic. Damn. This is better than me. I haven't been decompressed in a while. Cool. I need some spells, huh? I'm on it. You still use the fucking switch machine.
<sighs> Rebecca. What's your name? The stream had been going all right with the odd hitch or two, but things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos. Yeah. I ain't letting you die. What the absolute fuck? Okay. I need to switch the blue switch, but I can't fucking. Oh, shit. I need to get this to there. So I need to switch the blue switch, but I don't want to switch the blue switch. I need to switch the green switch, but I don't want to switch the green switch. Switch the orange switch. Alright, so let's do the orange. Green. Let me switch purple. Motherfucker. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. No. It must have been that because everything went wrong. And everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so... I took funds from the severance packages and ran. I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. Living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Waste World here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. I would wake up, sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game.
Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. They weren't kind to me. I never finished Waste World. I wanted this area of walk to reflect that experience, so I left it half finished. That also saved me some development time. I don't get along that well with other people. Carla wasn't even a close friend, but I think she might have been my only one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure half of those levels were unbeatable, but I just didn't care anymore. And then, rather than let modders finish your work, rather than let them s let see and. Somehow, the more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. The final straw was those idiotic modders. They took my half-finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post-apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. No. If I couldn't finish what? the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. Open door. You're gonna die now. You're gonna die now. Stop. But no. really 
fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay every temple. And that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of Vicious Galaxy 2, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. They're too old. But everyone wanted the same boring space marines from Vicious Galaxy 1. I got my wish. There was some sort of breach within GameWorks and a lot of data was lost. I had to create a new squad of player characters from scratch after that. You're gonna find out, kid. And now we find ourselves at the climax of Walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on, you can do it. This probably looks daunting. Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. I could do it. But it's the last one. I promise. I know I can do it. I'm a smart motherfucker. Just need to find a hook.
blue where it is. I don't know what... Uh. Fuck! I just did it with the wrong thing. Get me the fuck out of this fucking game. You know, I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle like ten times before the average player could solve fuck it. Fuck you. But great job. You figured it out. <laughs> you win. God, you have become an egotistical bastard. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap, so Walk is a shoe-in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. That's why you wanted to warn. Because you're Lucas. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? Alright, good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here.
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not my first game. That was just my count. See? My first game.
I'm just <laughs> that was the hex. There's probably a bit more to this than just this. I might. I don't know if I'll look for it or not. But fuck me. I just could not stop playing. I was hooked. Whatever you we Oh that explains a lot. 